Cage side of the UFC in Denver. The WEC boys are here. How you guys doing, man? Chilling, man. Just enjoying the fights. Excellent. And first things first, man. Congratulations to you. Huge win over Miguel Torres. How are you feeling now that you've decompressed a little bit? I'm doing real good. Uh, you know, it was a huge win, and uh, you know, it's really just all starting to sink in. And uh, you know, I'm getting a great response back from the fans. And uh, you know, I worked hard, and you know, it was a great win. How long is it going to be until you get that title shot? Is that next? Do you know? Um, I don't know for sure, but you know, I definitely know I'm the number one contender, and uh, that should be my next fight. So we'll just see when it happens. I know uh, Dominic Cruz had some a few little injuries, so I hope that's the next fight. Having fought Dominic Cruz in the past. Do you feel like you've corrected some of the things that you needed to so you can go in there and effectively beat him? Yeah, I'm a totally different fighter since that fight. You know, uh, I was just re-inspired and, and uh, re-motivated. You know, uh, me feeling motivating like that, I feel unstoppable, so uh, that's dangerous. And Uriah, this is it, man. This is the moment we've been talking about for years now. Finally, Uriah Faber on pay-per-view April 24th. Yeah, it's going to be a good show, man. And, uh, the most exciting part is the matchup. Yeah. Aldo's exciting and I'm exciting. We're both... Uh, dangerous all over the chart so it's gonna be a barn burner man i'm looking forward to it barn burner is a great word for it because i talk to everyone that's in the media fans and they're like man i have no idea how to call that fight because aldo's so explosive all over the place what's your game plan what can you tell us about how you're going to effectively beat this guy uh you just have to be careful you know he's got his i think the most dangerous stuff he has is most his kicks and his knees so be aware of that and uh be delivering the punches the more i put my hands on him the more I can touch him and push the pace, the better. He's a fast guy, but he's not a fast fighter. He likes a slower pace. So uh, push the pace and, and make it a fight, man. I love the fight. As a wrestler and somebody who's so good at the shot and taking people down, do you have to be more cautious than somebody who's so good at throwing those knees? Yeah, and I mean, if you watch my fights traditionally, I'm not much of a shot taker from outside. I don't you know, do like blast doubles and things like that. I usually close the distance and uh, and work from there, work into scrambles and things like that. So I'm not a traditional wrestler, and uh, that's hard for somebody who has never wrestled competitively to deal with. And with the WEC now being on pay-per-view, and it's gotta be a pretty good feeling for both you guys knowing that they're putting a lot of stock in your camp based out of Sacramento. Yeah, for sure, and I mean, it's just been, you know, we've, we've been earning it. We, we work our butts off, and we have a, a lifestyle that not too many people can have. It's, it's dedication and a lot of hard work, so it's great to, uh, you know, reap the benefits and, and be a part of, of growing the sport, and growing the lightweight, you know, division, the WC versus and MMA in general. Are you still running around in your underwear in the gym? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I wear. That's how I'm comfortable, you know, so... You know, comfort first, you know, style, so that's just how I feel good. Is that uncomfortable for you, though, as another man, you know, seeing him constantly running around in his skibbies? Those aren't underwear. Those are the uh, Benavides man pants. A lot of guys rock them. Uh, Anderson Silva rocks those, too. Some of the baddest guys on the planet rock those shorts. I like the board shorts myself, though. April the 24th, he's fighting on pay-per-view. His big fight's coming up sometime, hopefully, for the title, guys. Thanks for talking to us. Enjoy the rest of the fights. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Tune in. It's going to be crazy.